Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Strange Days True Crime. So normally I cover stories from Canada, but today's story comes by special request. So if you have a case you'd like me to cover, please email me at strangedays0000 at outlook.com. Today we'll be looking at the case of the unidentified victims of the Long Island serial killer. So sit back, enjoy, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. The Unidentified Victims of the Long Island Serial Killer The Long Island Serial Killer is a well-known killer who was on a killing spree from 1996 till 2010 in Long Island, New York, USA. The Long Island Serial Killer has also been referred to as Gilgo Beach Killer, Lisk, and the Craigslist Ripper. It is believed that he has murdered about 10 to 16 victims over the span of 20 years. After murdering his victims, he would dismember the bodies and dispose of the bodies on the South Shore area of Long Island, New York. The majority of the victims were sex workers that advertised on Craigslist. The Long Island serial killer has never been caught. Six of the victims have been identified, however four remain unidentified. The first unidentified victim was found on April 20th, 1996. On this day, two legs belonging to a white woman were found wrapped in a plastic bag. They were discovered on the Bayside shore of Fire Island, which is one mile west of Davis Park Beach, by some people walking along the Blue Point Beach. Investigators named her the Fire Island Jane Doe. It was noted that there were multiple scars on the legs of Fire Island Jane Doe. It is believed that the victim may have had surgery on her left ankle as there is a two inch surgical scar with adjacent suture scars on the medial left ankle. On her right leg, she had a half inch scar on the medial ankle as well as her lower leg had a three and a half inch scar on the lateral mid leg area. There was also a one inch linear scar on the lateral mid to lower leg. The Fire Island Jane Doe skull would later be found on April 11, 2011, west of Tobey Beach in Nassau County. It was DNA that linked the skull to the pair of legs that had been found earlier. There were no articles of clothing or personal belongings found with the Fire Island Jane Doe. It was estimated that the Fire Island Jane Doe was between the ages of 18 and 50. Unidentified Jane Doe Number 2 On June 28, 1997, a dismembered torso of an unidentified African-American woman was found in a wooded area of Hempstead Lake State Park, New York, by a hiker. The victim was found dumped next to a road in a green plastic container inside of a bag with a pillowcase that had flowers on it and a maroon towel. The victim's head, arms and legs below the knee had been severed and not found at the scene. The victim was named Peaches as she had a tattoo of a heart-shaped peach with a bite out of it on her left breast. It was estimated that Peaches was between the age of 16 and 30. Police estimated that Peaches had likely died less than three days prior to being found. 
April 11, 2011, in Nassau County, near Jones Beach State Park, police came across a plastic bag with dismembered skeletal remains in it. When the remains were found, the extremities had two gold bracelets. Investigators referred to the remains as Jane Doe No. 3. In December of 2016, the remains of Jane No. 3 and Peaches were positively identified as the same person. Peaches had a scar on her abdomen, which is possibly from a cesarean section. A picture of Peaches' tattoo was featured in a national tattoo magazine. A tattoo artist named Stephen Cullen from Connecticut came forward stating he recognized the tattoo and had tattooed it on a young black woman in 1996 and thought she was around 18 or 19 years of age. Cullen said that she was from either Long Island or the Bronx. He also stated that when she got the tattoo, she was accompanied by two other women believed to be a cousin and an aunt. The next unidentified body that was found was found on April 4, 2011. On this day, police found the body of a toddler along the parkway of Gilgo Beach. Investigators believed the body to be that of a toddler girl, but the medical examiner listed the gender as unknown. It is believed that the age of Baby Doe to be approximately two years of age. Baby Doe is also black with mixed ancestry. When Baby Doe was found, she had gold-colored hoop earrings and a 16-inch gold-colored chain and was wrapped in a blanket. Baby Doe's cause of death has not been determined at this point, but it has been ruled a homicide. Baby Doe was wearing the same type of jewelry as Peaches, and it was later determined that Baby Doe was the baby of Peaches. The next unidentified victim is known as the Asian Doe, whose estimated age is believed to be between 17 and 23. On April 4, 2011, the body of an Asian person was found along the Ocean Parkway of Gilgo Beach in a garbage bag. The bag also contained socks, a bra, and dark colored jeans. It was estimated that the victim was 5 foot 6 inches and missing 4 teeth. It was later determined that the Asian doe was biologically male. However, when Asian doe was found, they were wearing women's clothing and it is unclear if they were transgender or not. It is believed that Asian Doe may have had a musculoskeletal disorder that would have affected how they walked. Police determined that the cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. It was estimated that Asian Doe's remains had been there for at least five years prior to their discovery. In 2011, police released a composite sketch of what Asian Doe would have looked like. All of the victims remain unidentified to this day. On September 22nd of 2020, the state regulators approved the use of a forensic technique known as familial searching 
to help find any family members of the unidentified victims using a DNA database. Recent new changes in the investigation bring hope to the family of the victims. It was announced in early 2022 that Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison has put together a new task force stating that the Long Island serial killer is a top priority. The Suffolk County Crime Stoppers is offering a $25,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest in the case. Tips can be made anonymously by calling 1-800-220-8477. If you have any information on the unidentified victims, please contact the FBI at 1-800-225-5324 or the Suffolk County Police Department at 1-631-852-8100 or any of the other methods shown. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.